Hello and welcome to this Map Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about using Map Pro with Dreamweaver. I'm going to be using Map 3.073 and Mac OS 10 Yosemite. Okay, I'm going to be using uh, Dreamweaver, Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. They have now Adobe CC. Um, it's similar enough. Um, the main uh, points are the same. Okay, so uh, the first thing uh, I want to do is set up a host here in uh, MAMP and uh, we'll do that right now. I'll call it DreamHost. And, uh, put this in my uh, uh, websites folder, DreamHost folder here. And I'm going to save and start my servers. So this is just a basic MAMP Pro uh, host with the uh, default index.php, which we set up for you. And uh, this file is, does have some PHP, so it's gonna be perfect to use to show you how, um, uh, how you can integrate uh, Dreamweaver and Map. Okay, so with my host set up, I am now going to open Dreamweaver CS5 and set up a website. So what I wanna do here is come in here and uh, under site, new site, and under my site, uh, it doesn't matter what you name it here, but we'll call it uh, my dream site. And um, the local site folder is going to be your document root uh, that we just created in MAMP Pro. So I just go to websites, dream host, and set up my document root. Same document root there. So that's for setting up the site. Now we have to uh, set up uh, the server. So, and the servers are uh, MAMP Pro, the uh, Apache server and MySQL server. Uh, and we have to just hook those things in. So Dreamweaver knows where they are and what they're named. So under, uh, now in this might look a little different in Dreamweaver CC, but uh, in this uh, version, you just press the plus button here and you get a bunch of settings. And what we can do to get rid of a bunch of them is go to local or local network or local. And there we go, uh, uh, not a lot of settings to set. So this is another field that doesn't matter. Just call it my server. Um, these are the two that are important. Um, you've got two things here, server folder and web URL. Uh, these are the two uh, things that have to match uh, in order to get uh, your, uh, to be able to use the live preview in Dreamweaver. So the server folder, easy, same thing, document root again. Go to websites, DreamHost document root, and uh, it's the same document we had in, set up in our in map pro. And the web URL, that is easy. That is just a cut and paste. What we wanna do is go to your host, click on the arrow button, cut and paste that, and just paste it into Dreamweaver. And that way you don't have to, uh, well, you don't have to worry, it's correct. Uh, notice the, uh, here I was using port 8888, that's important. Um, that will throw a lot of people off and I'll show you what happens when the port is wrong. But we didn't have to worry about that because I just cut and pasted it in. So whatever port you're using, MAP's gonna take you to the correct URL and just paste it in there. So, on, and one last thing you have to go to, uh, couple last things go to advanced here and set your server model to PHP MySQL and then back to basic and well that's it and we are going to save that and one last thing here put uh, test check testing uh, to test so the Streamweaver knows it's a testing server here and click save and now if I go to my index to it, site and I want to go to my live view uh, live view I can see my page I'm going to split here as well and make changes to the code and they will be updated in real time okay so I have my uh, live view uh, successfully set up now I can make changes to the code and those will be reflected right away 
in the um, uh, on the page here on the previewer. I want to point out I just got rid of a warning message here, and it was something about syncing uh, virtual files. Um, Dreamweaver is good about um, throwing up all kinds of um, warning messages with double negatives, and you won't just click yes and and uh, get through those. And as long as you set up everything right, it's going to look fine. You can ignore those messages. Okay, um, and this is, I don't want to get too much into Dreamweaver, but this is just the live preview, and there's a, a million different options. I just um, made a quick change, and you can refresh, save your file. Uh, should be. And did I make a mistake? Oh, here, I made my change right here. Now web, okay. So I made my little change here. So that's cool. Um, you can make changes and see them uh, in real time. It's advantageous uh, if you're making quick changes to your website. Okay, one thing I want to point out to uh, is the ports. Uh, earlier, I went in and did a cut and paste of the uh, dream host here, and that's and was just easy to. Uh, and a lot of times your browser hides all this stuff. See, it just says DreamHost here on a lot of new browsers. You can see anything. Uh, so I went in here and cut and pasted this whole line here and hiding behind the, the regular view is the 88888. Um, if you set your uh, Apache server to port 80, you won't see any, uh, any uh, suffix here. Uh, but if it's anything but port 80, you will see this port 8 or whatever port it is. So the best thing uh, I can recommend is just do the cut and paste to set up the server. Um, if you are on the wrong, uh, if you go on the wrong, uh, this will throw a lot of people off. Uh, if, if you're on the wrong port or somehow your port's changed or you did an upgrade, who knows what happened, and the ports change, um, your Dreamweaver will not work because it's looking for um, the correct port. So this should be... If I do a, I guess, refresh here. Yeah, here we go. So it just, this is, it just died here. And now this is just the, uh, you can't find the server, server name. So be uh, aware that the ports, you need to have the correct port or changing the port is going to change the URL and your Dreamweaver will. So that's going to conclude this MAMP Pro screencast on getting Dreamweaver and MAMP to work together.